Hi Spinny Buddies and welcome back to another video. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to David for my intro. I actually love it so much. He made me two and I love them both so you'll probably see them a lot in my videos. Before we get into this video, subscribe and turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss a video. And guys, when I look at my analytics, 50% who watches my videos aren't subscribed. That means if you all subscribed that watch my videos, I would have 10K. So please, please subscribe. So today's video is going to be a how well does my best friend know me? Now you guys love when I do videos with Ben, but obviously I don't have Ben with me. So I decided to ask him to be in a video with me, but send me over the clips so I can still film my video with Ben because you guys love him. Before we get into this video, can we just talk about how yellow my hair looks? It's actually making me so sad because I can't get purple shampoo anymore. Ask Ben a series of questions to answer them about me. I've not seen Ben's clips yet, so because I didn't want to watch them and actually get any ideas in my head of my answers. I actually don't know what he said, which is quite funny because he could have literally said anything. I tried to make the questions things that I've not really answered in videos because that would be boring or pure random questions like would I rather this or this? Yeah, we're gonna let Ben, can I say hello? <gasps> Hi Spinny Buddies! I'm back! This is me and Emma's collab, except it's like quarantine edition. I've got this and a little vodka orange juice down there. So this is like a VK or something. I was in the shop and I was like, oh my god, I have to get them because they just looked so yummy. Ooh. I can't be till like, my mum's next door sleeping. <laughs> However, I'm going to be answering some questions. I am so excited. The first question I asked Ben was pretty easy. Just to start off, I said, what is my middle name? Now, my middle name is Marie. So I hope he got that one right. If he didn't, then I'm really not starting off on the best foot because that's very easy. You better go. The question that we've got is what is Emma's middle name? Now, I believe Emma's middle's name, middle's name, but <laughs> Emma's middle name is Emma Marie. Cassidy. Oh, I got that one under the bag. Got that bag. Okay, so well done, Ben, for getting that. At least you're starting off looking like a good friend, you know, because if you didn't get that right, I would have been a bit scared for the rest of the answers. The next question I asked him was, what is my childhood Teddy's name? And my childhood Teddy is actually called Brewster. Here he's here. Here he's here. He's very, like, flat and... His head doesn't sit up anymore because I've hugged him that much. I've had him so long, I could never go to sleep without him. He's so cute. Like, all of his fluffs kind of literally flat because he's not fluffy anymore. But his name's Brewster and he's so cute. So hopefully Ben gets this right. He's heard about him loads of times. Let me tell you, she's got this teddy and it's matted, disgusting. It's never been washed. Pretty sure it has mold on it. It's called Brewster. So, <laughs> I knew that. Yep. I'm actually laughing so much at the fact he says it's matted. I'm pretty sure it's got mold on it. No, but he was actually starting to go a wee bit green, so my mum did wash him. Um, is that disgusting? I don't know. It's going green like here, but I never used to let my mum wash him because I used to be like, no, you'll wash away like the specialness and the memories of my childhood. Is that done? Do you have a childhood Ted that you used to not be able to sleep without or still can't sleep without? Let me know down in the comments if you do and what your Teddy's name is. I would love to know. Third question that I asked Ben was, what is my favourite takeaway? I don't know if you'll know this one. It is a Chinese. I haven't always loved Chinese, so I don't actually know if he will know that. The thing is, he might just say something chicken. Say he does say Chinese, he probably won't know. So he'll probably just say anything chicken, you know what I mean? Because... I'm obsessed with chicken. If you don't know that, well, now you do. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that by this point, that I literally would have chicken for breakfast, lunch, and Honestly, dinner. I don't really know like where our favourite takeaway place would be, but I know that our favourite thing to get from takeaway would definitely be chicken nuggets. Or at least I think so. I mean, it was correct on the chicken part, but chicken nuggets would probably be what I would go for at McDonald's. Like, I'm obsessed with chicken nuggets, so maybe he's thinking like McDonald's takeaway. You know what I mean? But I was thinking about like home delivery takeaway and our McDonald's don't actually deliver, which is really gutting. But yeah, I do love chicken nuggets, but that's not my favourite. So Ben, you were wrong on that one, but you were kind of correct at the same time. The Chinese like chicken curry or like salt and pepper chicken, just anything from the Chinese I love. You literally cannot beat salt and pepper chips. They are my favourite. 
the key to my heart is salt and pepper chips and chicken. Do you know what, but Chicken nuggets are also the key to my heart. If you turn up in my door with chicken nuggets, I will marry you. I'd rather get £50,000 on the spot or never do TikTok or YouTube again. This question I thought would be good because he knows that I want to be rich, right? Like, who doesn't want to be rich? Rather give up the money and because I love doing TikTok and social media, I love talking to all you guys, I love making videos for you guys. So I wouldn't want to stop that. If I had £50,000, like, that's going to go away eventually. I mean, why would I lose everything that I've built up? So I would definitely not take the £50,000. I wonder if Ben says that. I'm sure he will say that. I'm sure he'll know that, but I'm not sure. I know for a fact, I know for a fact that she would choose not getting the 50,000. I guarantee it for a fact, without it, that there wouldn't even be like a question involved. I feel like my hair is such a mess, it needs a haircut, oh my god, ew. Well done, Ben. I'm glad that you know that because genuinely that would be my answer. The next question I asked him, I said, when's my birthday? Because we done a video about two years ago and he didn't know my birthday, so yeah so i wrote when is my birthday hashtag shit friend because he never ever really knows my birthday but yeah my birthday is the 11th of july so ben if you don't get this one right i'm actually expecting you not to because you know when do you ever know my birthday out of the five years you've known me okay so the next question is what is emma's birthday <laughs> do you know what the worst of it is right i don't know anybody's birthday and i could literally go and like find this out like that I could like go and find this out now if I wanted to but I'm not going to keep it natural I think it's the 11th of July is it even in July is it even in July is it even in July or is it the 13th I don't know that's a horrible thing to say I'm so bad with birthdays and that's like probably my worst thing is like names and birthdays I'm just so bad with them I mean does that count as knowing my birthday Loki it does <laughs> he didn't actually know but I know when his birthday is so I mean like does that make me the better friend you decide if I had one wish in the world what would it be wish that I would have is probably to have all the money in the world and make my family happy I could help people I could like make a difference in the world you know and I could have nice things as well and I would be happier that way so I could make better content, I could get a camera, I could go holidays and do vlogs. So that is genuinely one of my wishes because it would just make my TikToks, my YouTube videos, everything 10 times better. I don't know if Ben will get that, he probably will because he probably would say the same. Could be to be rich as fuck, so I don't know. I'd say kind of personal one as well, but I'm going to leave that out because yeah that is that would be my one wish but obviously i'm not going to include that in this video because that's personal you know and i don't want that information getting out there which is why i left that one out but definitely he did say <laughs> to be rich so yeah because me and ben just want to live together we want to create content together all the time and we think if we had money and we could live together it would be so much better next question i asked ben was who's my favorite tiktoker now my favorite tiktoker is greercy if you've not watched him you need to look him up He's so, so good. Like, he's just so random and so funny. Like, I love him so much. But I'm trying to think in Ben's head. He knows that. He knows that's my favourite TikToker. So he probably will say that. But he'll probably say himself, you know, because that's him. He'll probably say, well, it's me, you know. So I know that he's probably going to answer him. I, I can just guarantee it. He'll probably say him, but he probably won't say good. So he'll probably say Okay, so the next question is, who's your favourite TikToker? Now, I actually do know the answer to this. Um, so it is me. So that would be the correct answer. But to be honest, I think Emma's wanting the wrong answer, which would be Greerzy. I see you, Emma. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> what did I actually... I knew that. Like, am I a psychic? Or did I just know Ben? <laughs> well, but yeah, the next question I asked him was just random. It was, would I ne rather never have chicken again or never, like, get with anyone else again? But for a fact, I would rather not ever get with anyone else again because chicken is my be-all and end-all. Like, I mean... I mean, get get with people. You can do other things, you know. But chicken is my life. Like, yeah, I think he'll, I think he'll know that. Okay, so the next question is right. The next question is if Emma could never have chicken again, or if Emma could never sleep with anyone again, which one would she choose? And I know for a fact, I can guarantee to you all that she would choose never being able to sleep with anyone again because chicken is just her life, her life and soul. He knows 
The next question I asked then was, apart from my dog, what is my favourite animal? Now, my favourite animal is either a lizard or a sloth. I've got a sloth teddy right here. My brother bought me him when I was upset to cheer me up. He's actually huge. He is so cute. But yeah, my favourite animal is a lizard or a sloth. I've always wanted a pet lizard, but my mum's just not having it. Which is so sad, but you know, I've got my dog, so I don't really need a pet lizard, but I would love to have a pet lizard. Lizard or a gecko? I don't know if they're like the same thing. Are they the same thing? I don't fucking know. But it's them. That. Now, he knows because it is a gecko that I actually want. So that was correct then. Well done. Well done. You are the best friend. What? is my turn on now i didn't specifically say me i would just say people who dress well people who smell nice people like big like shoulders people that go to the gym like that's all part of me but that's about me you know i love somebody that goes to the gym somebody tall somebody with dark hair and tan nice teeth you know that is that is it for me. For Ben, I think he's going to say, he, not, he does know all that, so he'll probably say that, but he might think of it like sexually. It's Ben, so he probably will think of it sexually. Don't even get me started. There's a big long list. Emma, you should probably bleep this out. So there is. And that's all the turn-ons. So sorry that was bleeped out, guys. <laughs> that's so funny. The next question I asked Ben is, what is one of my biggest fears? Now, I've got quite a lot of fears, but I couldn't think. I never used to be scared of anything, but, you know, when I got my implant, it started giving me fears. This fears is, this might sound crazy, but going to lock your door, right, and somebody being outside, and when you, like, pull the handle up so they know you're at the door, they just burst in, and, oh, that freaks me out. What? I also am scared of, like, heights, the dark, you know, Walking home by myself. Um, like one of her fears is definitely heights. She doesn't like heights, like roller coasters, like that type of thing. Um, I don't really know, like, to be honest. She doesn't really have many fears. I don't, that's what I would right say. Again, I actually love you, Ben. I love you. You are a really good friend. Anyway, so the next question I asked them was crisps or chocolate. I used to love chocolate more. But I prefer crisps all the way. I could eat crisps after crisps after crisps after crisps. I love so crisps. So the second last question is, would Emma pick crisps or chocolate? Now, I know for a fact that she would pick crisps. It's not even up for debate. Crisps are just like, I would pick, I would do the same. Like fucking chocolate is like good sometimes, but like crisps just hit different. Let's, let's just be honest here. What is my two favourite tattoos? Seven tattoos, if you guys don't know. If you want me to do a video on my tattoos and my piercings, because you guys always ask, and like the reason behind them all, just let me know down below. Two favourite tattoos is probably this one on my finger, this alien, never mind my nails. Oh! This alien, because that is matching with Ben, and that's why I left this to the last question, because it's obviously a video with me and Ben. But yeah, my favourite, this is one of my favourite, because obviously it's me and Ben's little matching tattoo. I just love Ben so much, like why am I getting excited over Ben? Oh, quarantine life. Quarantine's getting me excited over Ben. Oh, it's been too long. <laughs> I'm kidding on. This one here, it says love you lots and it's in somebody's handwriting and I just love that one so much. It has so much meaning to me. So yeah, that's my two favourites. Now, I would say, personally, I would say that I think the one she's got here, which is writing, or is it this arm? I don't know which arm it would be. You know what I mean. Um, the one that's writing and it says, I love you. Just fucking fly. Um, the one that's writing, because uh, it has sentimental reasons. And the alien head that we have matching. Ah. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much to Ben for being in this video. I love you so much, Ben. Like, you honestly... I just love you so much. I love you more than anyone yeah, on this the video. the collab that is on my questions answered. Questions answered. Questions answered. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good night. Collab quarantine style. Oh, and here's my social medias. Um, my All my social medias are isn't Ben. I-S-N-T-B-E-N. And if you don't go follow them, you're a whore and you're going to have a million years of bad luck. So... Probably should go do that. If you liked this video and you can't wait for more content with physical Ben sat right here or right here, then thumbs up this video. 
leave a comment down below what video you want to see from me and Ben. And if you got this far in the video, so I know who's a true spinny body, comment a chicken leg emoji somewhere in your comment. And I'm going to be bringing back comment shout outs, so leave a comment down below and please subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you do not miss a video. Thank you for watching. Bye.